Hello, good morning. Once again, we welcome you sa ating daily blessing. At alam ko po na ang bautas sa atin ay tunay na pinagpala ng Panginoon, lalo na kung inuuna natin siya. At sa araw po ito ay pag-aaralan po natin ang Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. Very inspiring ang salitang ito ng Panginoon. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, Though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. And verse 19, the Lord God is my strength, and He will make my feet like deer's feet, and He will make me walk. On my high hills. Amen. Alam niyo sa araw na ito ay alam kong meron pong inilaan ang Panginoon na kalakasan para sa atin mula sa kanyang salita. Maraming sitwasyon sa buhay natin marahil that is so unbearable. Uh, mga chaotic situations that could really uh, cause our mind to break out. Maraming mga anxieties, uh, lalo na ditong panahon natin. At marami talaga tayong mga alalahanin. Katulad nga ng sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos na ito, merong six uh, chaos difficulties dito. No? no fruit on the fig tree, no grapes on the vine, no olive fruit, no produce in the fields, meaning no harvest at all. And no sheep, maging yung flock cut off from the fold and there no herd, no cattle. No? So talagang no provision for food. Walang wala. No, imagine, there are no means of produce. Totally locked down. At wala ka ng pagkukunan. All your resources are locked down. Ano ba ang mararamdaman natin? Marahil totoo nga. Pwede natin i-justify na tama lang na ako ay magkaroon ng anxiety. But the Word of God exhort us, yet above all these calamities and alarming situation, these chaotic circumstances, yet ang ibig sabihin ng yet is nevertheless, or above all things, sabi dito, I will rejoice. I will rejoice in the Lord. Pipiliin pa din natin na magkaroon tayo ng kagalakan. Because joy is not dependent on material blessings. It is not dependent on our comfortable situation o maganda nating mga um, kalagayan. No? Joy is established and rooted in God and His Word, His promises. Mas maganda na dito tayo kumapit. No? At kung ano man ang sitwasyon natin, hindi natin pipiliin na magmukmuk or magalit, or magwala, or mawala na ng pag-asa. Hindi ba? Hindi tayo dapat ma-deprive ng ating normal life. Even in the midst of chaos, there is a way to walk in the uh, spiritual freedom or joy. Pipiliin natin ito. Hindi tayo nakakulong sa cage. Wala tayong cage mentality. Hindi tayo katulad ng mga animals that we were put in a cage, yung mga hayop. Kapag sila na ilagay sa isang kulungan, yun na yung mundo nila. No? At hindi na nila hahangarin pang tumingin sa labas. What's outside? What's waiting for me outside? Yun na. Nakakulong na sila doon. Hindi ganun ang mentalidad natin. No? At hindi natin sasanayin na tayo ay makulong sa anumang mga sitwasyon na meron tayo ngayon. Tayo ay kailang makalaya. No? Hindi tayo nakakulong sa spiritual cage. Wala tayong mentality problem. We will choose to be free. No? We will walk in our freedom. No? At kung meron man tayong nararamdamang takot or hopelessness or anxiety, 
regardless of any situation or any circumstances, we can find the full measure of joy in the Lord. No, sa presensya ng Panginoon. And even if nasa crossroad tayo needing guidance and direction from God, we will learn to walk continually in spiritual freedom. The Lord has set us free. The Lord has clothed us with the garments of uh, salvation. Pinalaya na tayo ng Panginoon. No, ito isa sa mga beneficyo na ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon. And in verse 19, ito po yung napakaganda. God is our strength. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Kasi doon tayo kukuha ng kalakasan. Katulad ng uh, sabi dito, He will make my feet like deer's feet. Alam nyo ba yung, yung hind feet ng mga deer ay ito ay right feet to climb. No? Kaya ang mga deer in times of a danger they they were able to run securely no hindi sila hindi sila na off track no yung kanilang mga paa is uh, willing to scale difficult terrain and they elude their predators nakakaligtas sila sa anumang danger because of their feet and likewise god has also equipped us with his um, unique abilities and skills that even Uh, tayo po'y humaharap sa mga problema ay bibigyan tayo ng Panginoon ng alutasan dito. He will give us godly wisdom to think of ways to find solutions sa mga problema ito. Let's just ask for godly wisdom and let us ask for strength and courage no, that we will conquer this difficult situation. Kaya natin itong talunin. We can face this difficult situation triumphantly and let us ask God for faith to fully trust Him. No? That's why we are not fearful but we are joyful. We have that joy in our hearts. No, within our hearts, no, we will take this situation as an opportunity for God to work in our lives. No? For Him to show us miracle. We believe in miracles. We believe in miracles. And that we should not be fearful because God, and again, above all this pandemic situation that we are in, let us rejoice in a God of our salvation. He will lead us to freedom. Amen. Amen. So kung sa mga nitong panahon ay sa palagay ninyo, kailangan, kailangan ninyo ng kalayaan mula sa Panginoon, kailangan natin ng, ng kalakasan mula sa Panginoon, please join me in prayer. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus and by the power of your Holy Spirit, we come to you. We seek your face. We ask of thee, O God, of your mercy, that you help us, Lord. You give us the strength. Give us the power. Help us, Lord, to walk in this um, in this cage, Lord. Take us out of this net. Lord, that we will never be uh, settled in this cage mentality. Help us, Lord, that we will be set free from all these fears, from all these anxieties, from all these worries, from this mentality, oh God. Help us, Lord, that we can be victorious because of you. We thank you for giving us, Lord, even itong kakaibang wisdom, Lord, to settle, oh God, and Give us faith, Lord, to trust in you. We thank you, Lord, as we entrust our, our lives unto you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po. And see you again next time. God bless you.